Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host and my guest is Greg Hodge, who is a candidate for the mayor of Oakland. Uh, Greg, uh, let's talk for a moment about juvenile crime here in the city of Oakland. Uh, you have any idea of what we're doing to try and combat uh, some of the crime that's being committed among our juveniles? I know we have a number of programs, including the OK program. Uh, that seem to be having an impact. Yeah, uh, I, you know, I'm, part of my background is around youth development. So mm -hmm. we started the Freedom Schools program. I was the first coordinator of that program. We passed the Oakland Fund for Children and Youth, also known as Kids First. We, as a school board member, we pushed very hard to have community schools that would have wraparound services for not just our children, but for those families. I think that the focus on young people to break that school to prison pipeline ought to be a generational challenge. It should be a generational project. And, part and, and, of that, and as a former uh, school board member, uh, wh what do you think is going on with our children, uh, especially among our black children here in Oakland, in terms of getting a good education? Yeah, I think part and, of And what can we do about I think that? It's a great question. I think part of what we have to do is to make sure that our schools are teaching to the needs of our children as we have them today. Sometimes teachers talk about back in the good old days. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about what's happening right now. Engage children around technology. Engage children around the new economy. Even when we talk about voc vocational training. Some people have this idea that you, know, you can do the vocational training of previous decades. Almost everybody that works on your car understands computers. Mm -hmm. Everybody who comes to your house as a plumber has some technology where they can use a, a camera inside your pipes. That's the true. The technology connects to those previous pr professions. So we do need plumbers. We do need electricians. But we also need scientists. We need doctors. I think that we ought to be preparing our children for all of those, those jobs of the future. But why aren't we doing it? That's the issue. Part of it is resources. Part of it is, is the, the, the shift that we need to make in the curriculum that we need to rethink public education wholly. When we think about public education, the model that we currently have is a model from the 1900s. Think about this. We get out of school at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. School is out for the summer. Why? It's based on an agricultural calendar. That's true. So kids are supposed to be coming home to milk the cows. No kids are <laughs> going to milk the cows during the summer. So we lose academic um, uh, advances during the summer. To me, school should be just about year-round. You should have a break during the August months, but time on task. The amount of time that children spend in the classroom, all the minimum days that they have, school holidays. You think about ultimately kids are not spending that much time in school. Well, that's true. Now, let me ask you about the Oakland uh, A's there. Uh, shift from the Coliseum to Howard Terminal. You have any thoughts or feelings uh, on uh, that? Of course. Uh, this is one of the biggest issues in town right now. All right. Well, so I think that, pray you tell. Know, the Howard, Howard Terminal, the, the two sides of this issue are, People want to have a downtown ballpark mm -hmm. like you have Pac Bell Park. It's a, it's right. a trend around right. the country. That is true. On the other hand, ILWU and the port workers and folks at the port, the Seaport Commission are saying, but the, the port is an economic engine for the city. It Howard is. Terminal is not vacant land. Howard Terminal is a staging area That's true. for what happens at the port. So until we can answer the questions around how do we make sure that the port can still grow, how do we make sure that we take care of the environmental concerns, there's a lot of lawsuits that were filed last week around this, this issue. To me, I would have preferred to build a new stadium at the Coliseum. You have all the infrastructure in place. BART runs right into the stadium. We're across the street from the Oakland International Airport, so when people want to come to a game, but they say unless they get Howard Terminal, I believe they say they're gonna leave. They're gonna go to Vegas or someplace else. They're gonna yeah, be they're like gonna, the Raiders. They, and it would be it would be a huge, the traders. It would be a huge loss to the city. All right. You know, from a sports perspective and from a civic pride perspective. So I think that we have to work through all of those issues. We have to figure out the practical part about how to baseball fans cross the railroad tracks to get to a game safely. We haven't answered all the questions. And I think that this is one of those moments where we need to listen to what voters think. We need to listen to what our, our economists say about the economic vitality of a new state. Well, it's, it's, it's pretty clear. The A's are not going to remain at the Coliseum. Absolutely. Uh, what should happen to that beautiful property around the Coliseum? What is it, almost 150 or 200 acres there? It should be redeveloped. There's a group of African-American investors. Uh, I think it's the ASG group that mm -hmm. has been working on this. I think it ought to make they ought to make sure that if we attract a new sports team, if there's expansion teams, there's been ideas floated about the WNBA, you know, whatever those ideas are to really redevelop it as an entertainment hub, 
and make sure that that development reaches out into East Oakland, that it reaches out into District 6 and District 7, because fo folks in that community deserve to see more retail. It goes to a question around, you know, why don't we have department stores? Why don't we have more retail? Yeah, okay, it, on the part, why don't we, matter of fact, I don't think we have, matter of fact, I know we don't have any, any major department any major stores department in this. Stores. Well, part of it, I think, is, you know, more people are shopping online. Mm -hmm. More people are looking for those more boutique, small, retail kind of businesses. So I think that we should be doing retail business. It matches with what black business folks say, because generally, black, small businesses employ more people than those larger, you know, enterprises. It was, it was tragic that we lost Home Depot back in 25 years ago, when that could have been located in West Oakland, right? Mm -hmm. Emeryville got it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that there's got to be, one, a change in our perceptions about Oakland because if you don't feel safe in Oakland you're not gonna bring a store you're not gonna bring shoppers aren't gonna want to come so all of these issues are connected and I think that if we create a safer city we create a cleaner city we create a city where we don't have so many people living on the streets and put those folks in decent housing fit for human beings as a Black Panther Party okay would say. so you see safety as a major issue here so uh, we're gonna discuss that but we have to go to break so don't touch that remote what if I just put it down? We will be right back with All About Community. My name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest is Greg Hodge, who is a candidate for Mayor of Oakland. We will be right back with All About Community.